Margaret uh, Thatcher, former UK Prime Minister and the only female to ever hold the post, died this morning following a stroke at the age of 87. Our cheese, Andrew Farmer brings the insight on the life and the legacy of the woman known widely among her many admirers as the Iron Lady. Whether viewed as a hero or villain, Margaret Thatcher, also known as the Iron Lady, or simply Maggie, evokes strong feelings. She was one of the most influential forces on British politics in the 20th century. But her life had a humble beginning. Margaret Roberts was brought up by a family of grocers in Lincolnshire. She was educated at the local grammar school, graduated from Oxford University as a chemist, and later qualified as a barrister and married husband Dennis in the early 50s. But she found politics to be her true calling, becoming a Conservative MP for the North London district of Finchley in 1959. Well, Margaret Thatcher finally challenged for the leadership of the Tory party in 1975. And four years later, when the Conservatives came to power, she became Britain's first female Prime Minister. But it wasn't her femininity that characterised her 11-year reign at number 10. The Britain she inherited was in turmoil. Unemployment and inflation were rampant, as was industrial unrest. She tackled it with right-wing monetarist policies that became known as Thatcherism. State-owned companies were privatised, taxes were lowered, public spending decreased, and the trade unions were fought head-on. The Russians said that I was an iron lady. Yeah. They were right. <laughs> Britain needs an iron lady. Her no-nonsense policies brought down inflation, but unemployment actually doubled. And during her first term, opinion polls showed she was Britain's most unpopular prime minister ever. But that was turned on its head by a handling of the Falklands War. A year before the next general election, Argentina invaded the islands. Thatcher sent a British task force to get them back, and victory boosted her popularity in time to win a second general election in 1983. Her second term was just as turbulent. She survived an assassination attempt by the IRA at a party political conference, and her bitter battles with the unions continued. Miners went on strike for 12 months, but were eventually defeated by a prime minister who was again standing up for what she believed. They were out to use their power to hold the nation to ransom. It was that which Thatcherism, if you call it that, tried to stop. On the international stage, Thatcher was a staunch supporter of US President Ronald Reagan and backed America's bombing of Libya in 1986. Her attacks on communism had earned her the nickname the Iron Lady, Although relations improved under reformist Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, famously saying, we can do business together. In 1987, she won a third term to become Britain's longest serving prime minister in a hundred years, but eventually lost her grip on power after the introduction of the unpopular household poll tax, which led to nationwide protests. After just over a decade at number 10, her time here finally came to an end. Forced from office in November 1990, after a challenge to her leadership from within her own Conservative Party. Following that, she resigned, but she did remain active in politics, gaining a seat in the Upper House of Parliament. Her policies are still in place today and continue to influence contemporary politicians. She will be remembered as one of the most dynamic yet controversial leaders of the 20th century. Andrew Farmer for RT.